I love you too. Uh, this is called The Future Soon. Last week I left a note on Laura's desk. It said, I love you, signed an honest friend. Turns out she's smarter than I thought she was. She knows I would, and now the whole class does too. And I'm all alone during couple skate. When she skates by, and some got her arm. But I know that I'll forget the pity in her face. Living in my sore dome on a platform of space. Cause it's gotta be the future soon. And I will always be this way. When the things that make me weak and strange get engineered away. It's gotta be the future soon. I've never seen it quite so clear. But when my heart is breaking, I can close my eyes. Probably be some kind of scientist Building inventions in my space lab in space I'll end world hunger, I'll make dolphins speak Work through the daytime, spend my nights and weekends Perfecting my warrior robot race about uh, suburbia and uh, uh, the kind of trap slash death slash death trap that is adulthood. <laughs> and a totally flat B string. Uh, and also about a vacuum cleaner. This is called Shop Vac. <laughs> Took the freeway out of town Found a place to settle down Got a driveway and a swing set and a dog you Got your very own bathroom I got my very own workshop in the basement We sit around staring at the wall to wall Take field trips to our favorite mall Waiting for the 
the day when all the kids grow up and leave us here. If you need me, I'll be downstairs. Just to shop back. You can go, but I probably won't hear you. Cause it's live with the shop back on. But you'll be okay. Cause you'll be upstairs with the TV. You can cry and I probably won't hear you. Cause it's live with the shop back on. On the flag above the door Checked out the gourmet grocery store I got a mower I can ride around the yard But we haven't got real friends Now even the fake ones have stopped calling Maybe if you forget to hide the keys I'll take a ride to Applebee's Come home drunk on daiquiris And throw up on Downstairs, just a shop back. You can call, but I probably won't hear you. Because it's live with the shop back on. But you'll be okay, you'll be upstairs. You can see me, you can cry, and I probably won't hear you. Because it's live with the shop back on. I like the Starbucks here, that's better than the other one. Cause the other one's not as good They really need to put a light there Cause it's hard to turn It's hard to make a left turn Well, it's time to go to bed I'm still awake inside my head Floating up above the house and looking down Guess I gotta go back there Guess there never was any other answer And as the freeway comes, the cars go by Headlights roll across the sky Many miles away and I can see them speeding through the dark If you need me, I'll be downstairs with the shop back You can come, but I probably won't hear you Cause it's loud with the shop back on Upstairs to the TV, you can cry and I probably won't hear you. Cause it's live with the shop back on. Thank you. Uh, how did you know that I liked hand claps? It was a hunch. Just looked like looked like that kind of guy. Um, I really should have tuned my guitar before I got on stage, huh? They thought they were hiring a professional. But instead, they were hiring me. Uh, so, uh, this next one is, um, uh, ostensibly a song about, uh... <laughs> ostensibly, is that what got you going? I just like that word. Yeah, I like that word, too. This next song is ostensibly... Nerd! <laughs> Shut up, nerd! Why are you such big words? <laughs> this next song is supposedly... Uh, about genetic engineering, but it's also... Uh, there's sort of a complicated backstory uh, that you won't figure out on first listen. Sorry. <laughs> this is about a couple who may be having some trouble, uh, except also... Uh, they're having a baby built. I guess I was skeptical when I first met Dr. Martin. He said we could build a baby out of DNA, and although it was expensive, it was legal in the states where it wasn't banned. It's Betty who suggested we cut out the parts of me that she can't stand. Betty went along, they worked out the details, and then called me on the phone to say congratulations, Dad. Now things are getting better for Betty and me. We're making us a baby that's just like me, only better. Betty says he'll be taller, Betty says he'll be smaller, Betty says that our baby will be better than me. 
Betty was pretty firm about our baby being human. I said we should give him wings and a nice prehensile tail. He could travel with the circus, making money, making friends with clowns. Betty said that's stupid and for God's sake would you turn that TV down? Now I've seen Betty happy, but she's never been like this. She glows like someone's girlfriend in the middle of a kiss. I'm excited too, cause things are getting better for Betty and me. We're making us a baby that's just like me, only better. Betty says he'll be taller, Betty says he'll be smarter. Betty says that our baby will be better than me. And the love inside me thunders like a storm. And I hope the tube they keep the man is comfortable and warm. I hope the nutritive solution that they're feeding him doesn't make him fat. Betty's been spending lots of time out late with Dr. Martin. She says that they're working on the baby every night. And Dr. Martin sends her presents like new underwear and a bottle of wine. I just keep on writing checks until the day that baby is mine. I might have my mustache or my freckles or my eyes. Betty thinks it's better if we keep it a surprise. I hope I find out soon. Now things are getting better for Betty and me. We're making us a baby that's just like me, only better. Betty says he'll be taller. Betty says he'll be smarter. Betty says that our baby will be better than baby. Thank you. Oh, that Dr. Martin. <laughs> so, um, prior to uh, prior to uh, having this job here, that means before everyone prior, <laughs> ostensibly. <laughs> Ostensibly to now. <laughs> Just misusing big words. I don't think Jonathan Colton is very smart. Before I did this for a living, I had a different job. Uh, I wrote software. Is anyone out there a writer of software? <laughs> what do all the rest of you people do? You're all lawyers and doctors and such? Some, somebody over here is very shiny. That's, that's kind of awesome. I can only see I can only see the shiny parts of you. So, ah! um, So before I did this for a living, I, I wrote software for a living. Uh, it was a good job. I got nothing to complain about. Um, the only thing is, it's a very boring song if you have a good job and there's nothing to complain about. So. Um, I, I do. I do have uh, uh, a lot of respect for the people who are writing software. It's not easy to do. Um, you know, there are so many zeros and ones, and it's like keep just keeping track of them and putting them in the right order. Very hard. Very hard job. So uh, keep on doing what you're doing. <laughs> this is for you. This is called Code Monkey. Yeah! <laughs> Code Monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey go to job. Code monkey have boring meeting with boring manager Rob. Rob say code monkey very diligent, but his output stink. His code not functional or elegant. What do code monkey think? Code monkey think maybe manager want to write goddamn login page himself. Code monkey not say it out loud. Code monkey not crazy, just proud. And code monkey like Credo. Code monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew. Code monkey very simple man. Big warm fuzzy secret heart. Code monkey like you. Code monkey hang around at front desk until your sweater nice. 
cold monkey off and buy you soda. Bring your cup, bring your ice. You say no thank you for the soda, cause soda make you fat. Anyway, you busy with the telephone, no time for chat. Cold monkey have long walk back to the cubicle. You sit down, pretend to work. Cold monkey not thinking. So straight, cold monkey not feeling so great. And cold monkey like Tito. Cold monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew. Cold monkey, very simple man. The big, warm, fuzzy secret heart. Cold monkey like. Get out this place. Cold monkey, just keep on working. See your soft, pretty face. My travel, wake up, eat a coffee cake, take bath, take nap. This job fulfilling in creative ways, such a load of crap. Cold monkey says someday he have everything, even pretty girl like you. Now, cold monkey say someday, somehow, and cold monkey like Frito, cold monkey like Tab and Mountain Dew, cold monkey very simple man, big warm fuzzy secret heart, cold monkey like you, cold monkey like you, cold monkey like you. Thank you. So this next one is kind of scary. Uh, so if there are, you know, sensitive types in the audience, I don't want you to get scared. I know it's a dark room. It's a dark room. But just remember, you are not in a haunted mansion somewhere. Uh, in very extreme northern rural Maine. You were in a convention center in Ohio. <laughs> you could you couldn't be in a safer place. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this is about a doll that is creepy uh, and follows you around. It is called Creepy Doll. In a town in the woods, at the top of a hill, there's a house where no one lives. So you take a big bag of your big city money there and buy it. But at night when the house is dark and you're all alone, there's a noise upstairs. At the top of the stairs, there's a door, so you take a deep breath and try it. And the flashlight shows you something moving just inside the door. There's a tattered dress and a feeling you have felt somewhere before. And there's a creepy doll that always follows you. It's got a ruined eye, it's always open. And there's a creepy doll that always follows you. It's got a pretty mouth, swallow you whole. So you scream and you head downstairs and you tell yourself it was just a dream. In the morning you head into town cause you want to go antiquing. At the store there's a strange old man with a wandering eye and a withered hand. As he hands you the old wooden box you can hear his old bones creaking. And you know what you will find inside the moment that you see. That someone's carved your name into the tarnished silver key. And there's a creepy doll that always follows you. It's got a ruined eye, it's always open. And there's a creepy doll that always follows you. It's got a pretty mouth to swallow you whole. And when you come home late, the doll is waiting. 
fix the snack The doll says it would like one too doll is in your house and in your room and in your bed doll is in your eyes and in your arms and in your head And you are crazy Now it's late and you head downstairs Cause you just can't sleep so you make some tea And the doll disapprovingly asks if you really need that much honey You decide that you've had enough And you lock the doll in the wooden box You put the box in the fireplace next to your bag of big city money As the smoke fills up your tiny room there's nothing and far too late, you see, the one inside the box is you. And there's a creepy doll that always follows you. It's got a rude eye, it's always open. And there's a creepy doll that always follows you. It's got a pretty mouth, swallow you whole. Thank you. A quick change in instrumentation here. Yes, my friends. Um, <clears throat> this is uh, this is called a Zen drum. That's pretty cool. It plays the drums. And some other things, which we'll get to. Um, uh, I wrote this song uh, during Thing a Week, which was a, a project uh, that uh, I, I released a new song every Friday for an entire year. And a couple of them were okay, were good. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, a lot of weeks were very difficult for me. I didn't have any ideas, or I had ideas that were really stupid and shouldn't be made into songs. Uh, this is one of those. Um, it actually turned out okay. This was, I, I'm very happy with this song as it turned out, but it was, it's just, it was, I don't know what it means. I don't know what it's about. It's very confusing for audiences. It's very short. There's a guy named Mr. Fancy Pants, and there's a, uh, apparently there's an annual contest uh, to see who has the fanciest pants. There's a parade. He's defeated. He's sad. Who knows why? See, that's not gonna, you're not gonna, if you're wearing Dockers to the Mr. Fancy Pants contest, you're gonna lose. <laughs> Those are like Amish pants, they're very plain. <laughs> Except for the button right here, which is vain. You can't wear Amish, you can't wear that. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about Amish people. Why am I talking about Amish people? <laughs> Anyway, I was saying, did you guys just see a polar bear too, or was that me? Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, all right. This is not season one of Lost, people. Uh, so, uh, Anyway, let's see, Amish, right, I covered that. Polar Bears, I covered that. Okay, why don't I just play the song? Here we go. This is called Mr. Fancy Pants. Have the world. 
world's best. Say a little prayer for Mr. Fancy Pants. The whole world knows his only clothes and deep inside he Pants and 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 pants and